Do you want to have a look at the features of Siberia ROM based on Android 9.0 Pi on your Xiaomi Poco F1 phone and also learn how to install this ROM on your Xiaomi Poco F1 phone? That's what we're going to do in this video. If you haven't already subscribed, make sure you subscribe to the channel and click on the bell icon to get notified of new videos. Hey YouTube, what's up? Manchi here, back with another video. And in this video, we're going to have a look at the features of Siberia ROM based on Android 9.0 Pi running on a Xiaomi Poco F1 phone. Once we are done with a brief overview of the features, we'll go ahead and see how you can install the Siberia ROM on your Xiaomi Poco F1. All right, YouTube, so this is how Siberia OS comes out of the box other than the Pixel 3 Live wallpaper, which I set. Let us now go ahead and go into settings. We'll have a look at Siberia settings later on. Nothing much to talk about in network and internet and connected devices. We'll go ahead and click on apps and notifications. Click on see all apps. So the apps which come inbuilt with Siberia OS are the Android ASOP keyboard, calculator, calendar, and the ASOP camera. However, if I go ahead and open the manual camera test, camera to API is enabled out of the box, which means you can go ahead and install the Google camera from the Pixel 3 and it works absolutely fine with no issues at all. Other than that, you have your clock, contacts digital well-being which was installed with google apps gallery the messaging app and the phone app it does not come with google pixel 3 live wallpapers but you can install the apk linked in the description of the video and they're working like a boss and you also have quick step launcher in the building if you go ahead and click on time spent in apps over here it will show you how much time you spent in certain applications and if you want you can also go ahead and limit how much time you want to spend in a certain application you also have the option of selecting default applications and per app permissions wherein you can decide which app has access to what so if you want a specific app to not have access to your microphone this is the place to be let us now go ahead and check the battery so you have your battery saver which will let you save your battery if you're not near a charging point and you're running out of juice and you also have battery manager something which google added with android 9.0 pi which will tell you if a certain application is draining too much of your battery you can also find out when was the last time you charged your battery your screen on time and your battery temperature in the battery settings let us now go ahead and check the display section so you can set your brightness level, night light, wherein you can automatically schedule night light to come on at a specific time. You have your adaptive brightness, again something which Google added with Android 9.0 Pi, wherein it will adjust the brightness based on your behavior, how you adjust the brightness in certain environments. And when you are back in that specific environment, your brightness will be automatically adjusted. The next option you have is expanded desktop over here you can choose specific applications say in the messaging app i don't want the status bar or the navigation bar or i want to hide both that is something which i can do over here next up you have rotation wherein you can set auto rotate to on or off and also limit certain angles say you don't want auto rotation at 270 degrees so this is the place where you're going to do that you also have ambient display which you can enable for new notifications and you also have now playing which listens to the music playing around you and then it will show it up on the lock screen with all the information about that song next up you have double tap to wake working like a boss next up we have system theme wherein if you go ahead and click on font manager you can choose between multiple fonts which you want works absolutely fine you have your system ui theme which you can go ahead and choose amongst these various options let me go ahead and say i want the black theme and bam there it is dark theme working like a boss and you can also go ahead and change the accent color if you want so let's say i want the orange accent color my ui just restarted and now my accent color is set as orange you also have another customization called quick style tile style over here so right now i have the squarish look if i go ahead and select this guy and say i want this guy over here bam my quick style icons just changed to that new style let us now go ahead and check the sound section nothing much over here you have your now playing which we already discussed you have your dial pad tones and other settings and you also have the android 9.0 pi style wherein the sound ui is near the volume rockers now you can use this guy to change your media volume and this button over here 
to change your ringer style. Going into security and location, we have your lock screen preferences. So your fingerprint is working like a boss, your pin is working. But if you go ahead and go into smart lock, as of now, you do not have the option of face unlock, which means you won't be able to use the IR camera on the Xiaomi Poco F1 phone to unlock your device. But I'm pretty sure the developers are going to add this feature to Siberia OS pretty soon. Moving over to digital well-being, this is something which Google added with Android 9.0 Pi. It will show you how much time you spent in certain applications. And if you want to limit your time in those applications, this is where you can do that. Let us now go ahead and go into system. If you click on gestures, click on swipe up on home button, enable this guy and bam, there you have it. Android 9.0 Pi gestures in the building. And if you go ahead and enable this guy, enable full gesture mode, bam, the back button just disappeared, which means you can swipe back on this pill to go back without having to click on the back button. Something which Google should have added as default, but common sense is not common at Google. Other than that, if you go into system updates and you have an over the air update available for Siberia OS, this is where it will show up and you can go ahead and apply the update if you want. Let us now go ahead and go into Siberia settings and see what all customizations we have. First up is system and you have general tweaks over here. So prevent accidental wake up. You can go ahead and change the recent style between Pi and Oreo. So right now I have set it as Oreo style. You can also go ahead and change it to Pi style if you want. Next up, if you want to apply an icon pack for your recent style, you can do that over here. And you also have the option of three finger swipe for screenshot. In animations, you have the option of using multiple or different type of animations if you want to. Going into buttons, you have the option of screen off power button torch. So you can use either double tap power to toggle the torch or long press the power button for torch when your screen is off. You have what all items you want to see in the power menu. You have volume rocker wake wherein you can use the volume button to wake your screen. And you can also control the music using your volume rockers. And you can also use this keyboard cursor control to either move your cursor left or right or up and down using the volume rockers. Next up, you have privacy guard wherein if you go ahead and select those applications, those applications will not have access to your contacts, messages, or call logs. Another great feature from Siberia OS. I am not sure about the feature of standby apps, so I'm going to skip this. Next, we'll go ahead and go into sound settings. So you have the option of increasing ring volume, launch the music app automatically when you connect your headphones, what all volume steps you want, and what all things you want to adjust using your audio panel. So let's say I go ahead and add ring over here, and now my audio panel has the ability to adjust the ringer volume as well this guy over here next up is dialer over here you can pulse the flash for an incoming call vibrate on connect call waiting or disconnect use the home button to answer your phone call use the volume rockers to answer your phone call next up in siberia settings we have panels so this is where you can adjust your status bar you can go ahead and choose what all items you want to be shown in your status bar you have the option of adjusting the brightness by sliding across the status bar, double tap to sleep, whether you want to see your network traffic indicators in the status bar or not, and if you want to see the 4G icon instead of the LTE icon. Next up, we have navigation bar. So you can go ahead and choose to disable the navigation bar if you want to. And you also have the option of using smart nav bar. Once you are in smart nav bar, click on navigation mode, and you can choose between these three options. So you have stock, smart bar and fling wherein stock is just stock android style android 8.1 oreo style smart bar and fling are very customizable navigation bars other than that you also have the option of navigation gestures if you go ahead and enable this guy you will have to disable the navigation bar first and this is like your OnePlus style gestures wherein swipe up is home swipe up from right or left is back swipe up and hold is your recents Next up in Siberia settings is lock screen. So you can go ahead and choose what lock screen shortcuts you want at the bottom, left or right, double tap to sleep, whether you want a vibration when your fingerprint is authenticated successfully or if there is an error in the fingerprint. Then you have your lock screen charging info, whether you want to see the weather on the lock screen or not. And once you enable this guy, you can customize the city name, whether you want to see the temperature or not, what weather service you want to use, what icon pack you want to use for that guy. So all these customizations are there. 
Next up in Siberia settings is battery settings. The first option is battery charging light. You can either enable or disable it and it also gives you the option of specifying a different color but I don't think so this is going to work because the notification LED on the Xiaomi Poco F1 is not RGB so these options are not going to work for us. And the next option in battery settings is battery icon style so you can go ahead and change how you want your battery style to be whether you want a big dotted circle and where do you want the percentage and last but not the least you have the details of the Siberia team hats off to them thank you to them for bringing us another amazing ROM to the Xiaomi Poco F1 phone as for the option to hide the notch that option is not anywhere in the settings but if you go ahead and enable your developer options and then you go ahead and search for notch you will get the option for display cutout this guy over here set it to hide and bam there it is we've hidden the notch but it is not being used for notifications so maybe somewhere down the line in the future the team over at Siberia OS decides to add the option of hiding the notch in a more graceful way so that we can use the hidden notch for our notification and status bar icons as for the benchmark score this is the benchmark score which I got on Siberia OS ROM based on Android 9.0 Pi running on a Xiaomi Poco F1 phone but do note as you cannot judge a book by its cover same way do not try to judge a ROM by its benchmark scores all right youtube let us now go ahead and see how you can install siberia os based on android 9.0 pi on your xiaomi poco f1 phone do note you need to have an unlocked bootloader drop recovery installed batteries charged 50 to 60 percent and you will lose all your data so make sure you pack that up videos on how to unlock your bootloader and install top recovery on the xiaomi poco f1 phone are linked in the description of this video all the files which i am going to use are also linked in the description of the video next thing we need to do is we'll go ahead and go into settings once you are in settings scroll down go into lock screen and password remove any pin you have any fingerprint you have any password you have set up any face data you have set up once that is done go back scroll down go into me account remove your me account as well once you've done that go back go into sync and remove any google account which you have as well we're doing this so that you do not get locked out of your Xiaomi Poco F1 phone once you install a custom ROM. Once you've done all these things, go ahead and power off your Xiaomi Poco F1. Once you've powered it off, press and hold the volume up button and at the same time press and hold the power button till you see the Twerp Recovery boot logo. Once we are on the Twerp Recovery home screen, first thing we'll do is we'll go ahead, click on wipe, click on advanced wipe, select Dalvik, cache, system and data, swipe to wipe. Once this is done, go ahead, click on the home button, click on install. The first file which we need to flash is the latest Android 9.0 Pi vendor. This guy over here, select it, swipe to confirm the flash. Once the latest Android 9.0 Pi vendor for the Xiaomi Poco F1 phone has flashed successfully, click on the home button, click on install. And now the first file we're going to choose is the Siberia ROM zip file, this guy over here. Once that is done, go ahead and click on add more zips. Select the Open G Apps ARM64 Android 9.0 Pi Nano package, this guy over here, and then swipe to confirm the flash. Once the ROM and Google Apps zip file have flashed successfully, go ahead and click on the home button, click on install one more time. And now we need to install the disable force encryption travel zip file, this guy over here, swipe to confirm the flash. Once that is done, go ahead and click on the home button, click on wipe. Click on format data, type in yes, and this is where we are deleting all your pictures, videos. So make sure you've backed up all those things. Once you've confirmed that, go ahead, click on the check mark button on the bottom right. Once this is done, go ahead and click on reboot system. And bam, there we have it Siberia OS boot animation on a Xiaomi Poco F1 phone, which means we have successfully installed Siberia OS based on Android 9.0 Pi on a Xiaomi Poco F1 phone. That's it for this video YouTube. I hope my video helped you. Likes, shares and subscribes are appreciated. Feedback and comment more than welcome. See you when I see you.